Well, with the Bruins down one game in this quarterfinal series against the Islanders, the score now at the end of the first period of game two, New York one, Boston nothing. And I guess you can tell by watching that first period that both teams place some significance in the outcome of this fray. First period shots on goal were even at eight apiece. We'll check the first period summary a bit later. But first, and I wish I could say back by popular demand, but well, it's back anyway, an intermission feature on that ever popular but soon to be extinct wrap-up program. When I came to Boston to work 10 years ago, I had seen one hockey game in my life. In order for me to begin to understand hockey, I had to apply a lot of basketball principles to, uh, to the sport. If I'm just there with my typewriter and in, in my chair in, in front of the monitor, um, and next to my, my person at the videotape machine when the, when the puck drops, I'm okay. And I can start from that point. We work with um, three videotape machines. Uh, two of them are hooked together to, to make up the tape delay where machine one records the game as it's happening um, and then it, there's a looping of tape that creates uh, enough tape that it takes 16 seconds from it to, uh, for it to get from the point where it's recorded to the second machine where, um, where it is then played back 16 seconds after an event. And then we have a third machine that we use to record the actual pieces of the game that we want to use on the, um, the post-game program. So what happens, for example, is if a goal is scored and that's recorded on machine one, 16 seconds later, that same event will be played back on machine two. And we'll be able, during that 16 seconds, to start machine three running so that we can record the action and get that goal onto the piece of tape on machine three. Um, in this power play, if they get a they get a series of shots, we may try and get two or three good saves in there. The games that that have the Bruins against Montreal, the Bruins against um, say the Rangers, where there's a rivalry, or now the Bruins against the Islanders, because the Islanders are that, are that strong. Those are those are nice ones to try to put together because there's some anticipation of that game beforehand. What, no, I want to see the uh, 22 seconds of silence on that on this last cut. It's right after the uh, goal by O'Reilly. You want a nacho cheese flavored chip? 32 plus 102. And you said that. Um, that cut, the second cut, cut is a minute 13. Over the line. Yeah, totally. yeah. Exactly. Amazing, that's what I got. <laughs> oh, I thought you were a tad confusing. It's back for Bourne. Out comes Rick Smith. Shot, save, score! Quache banged it in. Three to one as Quache fires in from the crease. And the Islanders for the two-goal lead. Um, all right, let me hear it. Not a power play goal for the Islanders for that great stop by Gilbert. Save, score! Quache banks it in. John Bloodbound, now what's the stop by Gilbert on a little soft drive with that left foot? Boy, that was a big stop. Let it roll. Uh, the puck just 12. The goal for or until it gets to the slot. Slow-mo. Which one 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 or until it gets to the slow-mo, whichever comes first. Into the open net. And at 513, Islanders 3, Boston 1. Oh, that's good. We've got two goals edited together like that. We got lucky, didn't we? Just bang, bang. We're writing the script while the game is going along, so the script is developing. So at the end of the game, the same thing, the same thing happens where um, we're up to date with the script, and uh, it's just a matter of finishing off the last couple of lines. And, and be sure to join Tom Larson at the end of the game. He'll have all the action highlights and a look at the scores. We're trying to get the, the highlights of a game in um, in there, and at the same time, we're trying to keep the thing as short as we can. Because, let's face it, people have just seen the game. Um, they don't need 30 minutes of seeing the same thing all over again. So we're trying we're trying to do two things. We're trying to, to highlight the, the major things that happened in that game, and at the same time, to keep the th program fairly short so we just don't drive people away. All right, over it comes, Mike. Ready, camera two. Take camera two, go, John. 
Well, you have reason to expect that a game between the Bruins and uh, the Islanders would be a pretty good hockey game, but this one wasn't. Both clubs have fallen on hard times now, and this game came up lacking. Goaltenders, Gilles Gilbert for the Bruins, Bruins and the A's for the Islanders, who grabbed the lead early on Bob Bourne's first goal of the year. Take the eight. And how it's nice to the wings. Line grand, John Potvin, set in, wide, and Bourne scores. Boston's first goal of the night came early in the second period, just 45 seconds in. It was Terry O'Reilly. Secord back in against Lorima, battling, digging. Off for O'Reilly, into McNabb, McNabb in front, O'Reilly shot, scores! The tie was a momentary thing. At 2.16, Mike Bossy scored a gift goal, and three minutes later, another by Brian Trotje. It was 3-2 now, the Bruins within striking range, but not for very long. And has a man free, it's Bossy, and a save. So the Bruins were down by two again. It was New York four, Boston two. Then in the final minute, shorthanded goal by Peter McNabb to account for the final score. It was four to three for Fred Cusick, John Pearson, Charlie Min, and the rest of the TV 38 hockey telecasting crew. I'm Tom Larson. Good night. Sometimes when, um, when all of those things happen right, I mean, all of those technical things happen the way that uh, they're supposed to when man and machine are working right. And just the personal things, I get some pride and some satisfaction out of it.